All right, uh, for this next activity, you are going to need a copy of the green page. It's best if you're able to print this off, uh, but if not, it's, it's a good idea to have a, a handy so that you can do a little bit of writing as well. All right, so uh, I will answer on the page, but I'm not gonna do them exactly in order. So first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna look at, I've, I've drawn five parallel lines here, five lines going in the same direction. As soon as you've done that, you've created a staff. Okay, this is called a staff. Now, this staff could be many different things at this point, okay? It could be for rhythm, it could be for the treble clef, it could be for the bass clef, it could be for the alto clef. Today, we're gonna to start with the treble clef, all right? And in order to do that, <clears throat> you've seen this symbol a lot. There are two steps. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a hockey stick. All right, next step, you make a little loop. You make a big loop, and that loop should go around the second one. So I'd encourage you to do that. Try a few of those until you're pretty comfortable with it. And then what I'm gonna have you do if you're writing this out on paper too is to draw a treble clef right here, okay? And now we'll look at question one. All right, so now that we have a treble clef on our staff, okay, it has certain, certain things that apply to it. And one of the things that apply are the names of the lines. So we have every good boy deserves fudge, okay, an acrostic to remember that. So E, G, B, D, F, every good boy deserves fudge. Okay, and those are the names of the lines here. So uh, I can't draw this out on my screen, but you'd have something that would look like this. Okay, so I'm actually gonna ask you to draw this out on your paper, or draw this out on paper if you can. And each of these lines cut that circle in half. When you do that, these notes are called on a line. We've talked about this before. So. Uh, hopefully that's ringing in a bell. E, G, B, D, F, every good boy deserves fudge. We're gonna scroll down now and look at the spaces, okay? So thing, same thing here, I'm gonna ask you to write a treble clef, okay? There isn't uh, an acrostic or saying for this because it just spells face. So we should have something that looks like this. Okay, so those notes are in between the lines. So we'd say in a space. And we always start from the bottom up. So that would be F, A, C, E. There's our E, there's our C, there's our A, there's our F. Okay. 